Hi, Phil Newton England here, back with another Crystal Maze review. And today we're going to be looking at these. These are genuine contestant jackets from series 5 and 6 of the original Crystal Maze, back when Edward Tudorpole was the Maze Master. Now, Edward's my favourite Maze Master. I love him, I think he's brilliant. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Richard O'Brien's pieces, but Ed Tudorpole was just so manic and crazy. So I'm really glad that I've got these. Now I've got two, I've got this one which is kind of like a turquoise or teal colour and I've also got a green one and we'll be having a quick look at both of them today. So as I say these were the these were the actual jackets that they wore in the TV show for series 5 and 6. Um, the basic um, bomber jackets, I'll just take that off so we can have a look. I don't know if there's a label inside, there's no label inside but the, uh, the teal one's kind of brown, obviously it has the front zip. Um, elasticated neck there, grey. Then they have this uh, Velcro patch sewn on. That was for the contestant's name. So obviously they could just peel that off and then the following week's contestant would have their new name put on. Uh, the thing missing from this is some of the badges. They tend to have one of the, the zone that they started in. They'd have that badge, Aztec, Ocean, Futuristic, whatever. Uh, that would be on there as well. But obviously this is just the jacket. Um, as you can see as well, I'll just come back a bit again. As you can see it's got the same colour elasticated um, waistband on it as well. And these are really thick. Um, obviously, as you probably know, the first series was, was filmed at um, Shepperton Studios and then it moved to an aircraft hangar. And it's very, very cold inside there. So the, the contestants had like, um, they had a shirt, a check shirt, a polar neck jumper and then these thick jackets and you can tell as well because the maze master wore like loads of clothes as well to keep warm while filming um, and it helps obviously they took these off when they did the water games because they're, they're a bit of a, a bugger to, to dry off so which is not surprising so they're really thick uh, but we'll have a closer look anyway on the left arm you have the standard pocket here with the zip and open Elasticated cuffs on the arms, and then on the right arm we've got the one of the Crystal Maze logos, and I absolutely love this logo. It's brilliant. Again, that's a patch that's just sewn on. Um, again, not the best sewing ever, but that doesn't show up on the TV cameras when they're filming. Um, this is about eight centimeters across, and obviously it's same in height as well because it's a circle goes without saying uh, and then on the back we have this another fantastic crystal maze logo again I'll come in and you can see there the big crystal in the middle and it's got the zones around the edge Aztec future medieval and ocean and uh, that's about 19 centimeters across from there to there and that's beautiful I love it absolutely love it as I say, that's brown inside. Uh, there is a game in Ocean Zone where she, she takes it off and you can see Ed trying to struggle to put it back on it. And you can see there the, the brown inside. So that's that one. And then we'll just have a quick look at this one. Uh, this is the green one. Obviously it's, it's more or less the same, um, but that's got the, as you can see, that's got the orange inside, size L, large, the contestants. Again, the Velcro, the Velcro patch there, the contestant name, the pocket on the left arm, the right arm, the Crystal Maze logo, and again on the back, the Crystal Maze logo. They're, they're the same size and everything. Um, and I'll just actually, I'll just zip, zip this out so you can have a look inside. There's pockets inside as well to put those all elusive crystals if they did win one. And uh, that would keep them safe until they got back out of the cell. So there you go. Obviously that's got slightly darker um, cuffing on it as well. Elasticated waist as well there. But there you go. Two genuine contestant jackets from the Crystal Maze TV show. And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed them. Obviously, we looked. I've got another video showing the original Richard O'Brien one. If you want to have a look at that, please help yourself. 
In, in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and see you soon.